James Held at IFL TV in association with Matt Cleese, Jim Marbauer. With me, I've got trainer Ricky Hatton after what is a blistering contest between your fighter Kirill Willick and WBA super champion Ricky Burns. Firstly, how do you sort of assess that fight? Uh, it was a great fight. I'm sure Kirill's made a lot of um, fans here in Scotland, you know, with his, uh, with his performance. I think we did enough to nick it, you know. You know, but, you know, I, you know, you look at Johnny Nelson, my mates, and Paul Smith, they said even. That's probably about right, but I mean, he had a really good start, and then he had a really good finish. I thought he might have had enough to nick it, but I mean, there's no, no way I'm according it a bad result, because it was that close. A little bit upset with the scorecards has disappointed me more than anything, to be honest with you. I mean, if they'd have, it's a unanimous decision by Ricky by one point, I'd have gone, bob bum but... Uh, not that, that, that's a little bit hurtful, you know. Do you think it's unfair that Kirill Willick's performance <coughs> in the history books won't get the recognition that maybe it deserved tonight? Because it was yeah. a close fight, well, everyone that, enjoyed the you know, fight. If you look at them scorecards, you know, these, they, them scorecards tell you there was no doubt, about the, no, no doubt about the decision, which couldn't have been any more further from the, uh, from the truth. 118-110, one, one oh, you know, it's shocking stuff, but you know, there's no way we're going to go home and, and feel we were cheated, you know, I mean, there's no way I'm going to go home and say that was a bad, dis that bad decision, you know, um, it, you know, it was probably, it could, I thought we nicked it, but it could have been, I'd probably say it could have been a fair decision, I'm just bitter about the scorecards really, you know, the poor kid, he's not done him justice in them scorecards. Do you think he will really maybe could have done with a little more experience, in the middle rounds, he said he started fantastic, yeah, he, yeah. he finished fantastic, but in the middle rounds, where well, Burns you know, was still nicking the rounds. Yeah. He started off well, so, and, he, and he showed his, his natural talent, do you know what I mean? He come in as a big puncher, but you look at his defence and movement in them early rounds, it was absolutely second to none. But then he lost his way in the middle rounds, which don't forget, you know, he's not 19 out of 21. You know, the most he's ever done is six rounds under his belt, you know, so then middle rounds, he lost a, lost a few, but he, uh, he showed he's got the heart as well to come back like he did in rounds 10, 11 and 12, you know, so, um, yeah, I think, um, I mean, the most he's done is six rounds. I think if he had a couple of eight rounders under his belt and then fought for the world title, I think that might have made all the difference. But it, uh, it wasn't. I'm proud of him. It'll come again. Do you think he's announced himself now on world level? Or do you think in the future we can see him mixing at this level with the higher calibre of opponents? Yeah, no doubt. You know, to me, he showed, you know, he's, we have knew he was, he was knockout punch you and heavy handed. But I think he showed everyone tonight he's a lot more than. More than that, all it was was a little bit of inexperience, a little bit of lack of rounds, you know what I mean? Sometimes he um, he gets caught with a shot and he shows his frustration and you've got me poker faced in this game. I'm saying, Kirill, get caught with one, forget it, keep your focus. But you know, this is all an experience. He's um, at times he showed that he's, he's only, why he's only had 21 fights, you know what I mean? To find some, 21 fights to even find someone like Ricky Birds, I think it's a fantastic achievement. But um, yeah, I feel like I, I honestly thought he did enough to pip it. But I'm not going home. I'm not going home saying we've been stitched up. You know what I mean? I think uh, the fact that Ricky Burns got it, you know, it could have gone either way. To be honest with you, I'm just a little bit sorry about the scorecard because it doesn't show a, a true reflection of the fight. Today we had the ten bells for Mike Tao. Very tragic situation and circumstances, and boxing communities come together to try and show some support for that. You being at the forefront of that, I've got to say, fantastic what you did for Mike Tao in, in just putting yourself out there and leading by example. Can I ask how the fund is sort of, how much fund money the fund is um, raised? Fund? Before I come to the venue tonight, I think it was about 45 grand, I think it's still, still creeping up, which is brilliant. You know, I put five grand in myself to get the ball rolling and I was hoping that we'd maybe get maybe 20 or something like that, which would be massive for the family, but we've doubled it and it's still going, you know, so... Uh, Can people still donate to the fund? Absolutely, yeah. I don't know how long we're going to leave it on for. We can't let it go on for, um, forever, but we need to get it to the family so they can put it uh, to good use. You know, but Medi, Matt True, Medi Earn's done his bit as well, you know, all the tickets yeah. after midnight yesterday went to, to the family. Yeah. So, you know, that's got to make wonders for the family. I'm a, fa I'm, a, I'm a father as well, you know, I've got kids and that, and um, they're not financially in the best of positions, and this will make absolutely, you know, the world to them as a family and to, to uh, Mike's youngster. So, um, yeah, you know, and um, that's what part of being... Uh, a professional and a sportsman's all about. It's not just what we do in, in between the ropes, it's about what you do out of the ropes as well and helping people that need the help like uh, Mike's uh, lovely family need here. Nothing but respect for you for Ricky for doing that and getting putting it out there. Do you think people at the top end of the sport should maybe 
look at a way to give something back. With the amount of money at the top end of the sport compared to the bottom end of the sport, do you think we, we as a whole, as a society, Yeah, I think you don't know what it is. I don't know who, who, who to do it, but I think boxing probably in general needs to have a look at it, you know. Because footballers, they have... Um, you know, they, they get have, a pension at 35, yeah, they have apparently. a football club behind them. They have a pension, they have testimonial football matches, you know what I mean? They get help and it's like when, when a boxer's career is over, that's it, see you and it's move on to the next fella, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's a shame really. And when tragedies happen like this, and it doesn't happen <clears throat> too often, it's nice to know that boxing can be there to, to help them out, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm very, very proud of what, of what I've done and I hope it's, it does wonders, you know, for the, for the family, but I think we all, I mean, in boxing in general, probably have to look at what we can do for situations like this because, uh, you know, that's going to help. And if, if we hadn't have done that, you know, if Eddie hadn't have done the thing with the tickets yesterday and I hadn't have done that section, you know, they might have, they would have been in a bad way for fam Mike's family and uh, youngster, wouldn't they? So that's that's going to make massive difference to him. And we need to probably do more of this in the future as boxing as a whole. Massive respect to you, Ricky. And I'm fortunate it's not your night tonight in terms of Kill or Relic getting the victory. But I thought he lot won, won a lot of fans here tonight with his performance. Yeah, I knew he'd do. he would win a lot of fans. <coughs> Excuse me, because. Um, He's an exciting fighter, he goes for the knockout, do you know what I mean? He's, uh, he's got a really good style, so yeah, I hope he won a lot of fans. And uh, It's clear he's, he's not a lot of miles on the clock, he's only had 21 fights, you know, and he's, he's fought there and, and had hard lines against a three weight world champion, so he certainly showed he, can, uh, showed he can come back, he'll come again. I think he's a world champion in waiting, you know, and I think uh, I, thought he, I thought he did enough to win the world title tonight, but he just got pipped at the post, but he'll come again and he'll win one. Commiserations to the team, sorry you didn't get the rubber green, but thank you very much for all to our TV, and I'll catch you again real soon. Thank you, Rich.